and welcome to The Sherlock's Show. I'm Georgie Courage-Cole and joining me today are Laura Black, Astrid Carter and I'm thrilled to welcome none other than Trini Whittle. I feel it's like my second home, even though I've only sat on the sofa once before. I do feel that I know you girls now and you've been in my cab a bit and it's just, it's very cosy. I feel Aww. that the ladies who watch Sherlock's are some of my ladies yeah, and you know, it's kind of, there's a nice synergy. So I'm very comfortable to be here. Oh, so comfortable good. that in fact, I was going to get my phone because there's something I want to show you on my phone. She's but off. You, she's you off. I was talking. going to tell you. I mean, only Trini. She's yeah. the first guest that's ever walked. No, but it's like, otherwise, can I just <laughs> that's say, why we love you know her. what you need to do a bit is stand up and sit down. Can I see your head? I don't, well, oh my God, it's such a crop shot. Can I tell you what, when I watch these things, Tell me. There's an element what you've got to do. You're, you're all, when you're like this, you spend the whole show like that. Okay. So you've got to get into your sofa. We're doing it. We're doing it. Get into your sofa. It's like you're at home. You're I know. It's really like that. that. So slouching too much if we slouch back too much. Who shuts you off? Well, Charlotte, you off? Well, Charlotte sometimes is sort of, she used to be <laughs> so relaxed. Anyway, well, I was going to say the big news is yeah. that we're forming a girl band. And yes, we've um, just been discussing that. And Trini got the memo today that the, the dress code was cream and black, so yeah. here we are. Obviously. Anyway, Obviously. anyway, so excited to have you. We're going to start with a bit of Christmas chat. Yeah, let's do that. Present giving mm -hmm. etiquette. Now, you were just saying that you're wearing a Zara blazer, and we were chatting in the office yesterday yeah. about the year you said you'd bought everyone a sequin blazer from yes. Zara because it was such... A great gift. Such is that your approach? Gift. Buy things in bulk. Oh, I've got two thing. great gifts this season. Tell us. Um, Tell well, us. the thing is, um, well, hopefully none, nobody from my office will be watching. Um, and I'm sure there's a little bag from Very, all right, and it is a total dupe for a Pierre Hardy or Roger Vivier bag, and it's crackled gold leather, and it has a crossbody thing. It's £22. But I had it in my office, and okay. the girls were like, Oh, that's such a nice bag. Because for me, they don't know, is that or is that? Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, like my daughter's, can I just show you? i got to get oh, up again. Oh, i got to get up again. Because my daughter... Never a dull moment. I had this, house. okay. I had this, which I have to, you know, which is I've amazing. coveted for 10 years. But I had it like that. And my daughter went, nice new bag, mummy. Is it Zara? <laughs> oh, oh, darling. Okay. <laughs> which, now that I spent the money on her. No, I didn't spend the money. Somebody actually gave me a gift of something else. Somebody to do with okay. work gave me this gift. And it, th okay, can we just talk about this? Because this can is we so hear relevant. Her? We to can Christmas. hear her. Yes, can you hear me? tell me? It's right. Trini, so just right. shout if she's yes. covering her mic. So somebody maybe. gave me a lovely gift, which was a, a like a black Hermes double, you know, the kind of lock thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The enamel bracelets. And, and the people who gave it to me, um, I was so staggered they, they gave me a gift. They didn't need to give me a gift because I was supporting them with stuff, but I just love them and I think they're brilliant. That's why I did. So they gave me this gift, and I usually don't like getting gifts anyway because. If people know that I don't take you stuff like on my site and, and, and I opened it and I, I thought I hope I love it because I want to show them how much I love it and it was this black thing and I just said look I have five things on my wrist and they're all from people one died one's whatever they're very and it will dominate my memories so I can't accept it because I want to wear something from you every day but I can't accept but it but I can accept it and go and explain it <laughs> so, <laughs> I, no, so <laughs> I then said <laughs> Do you mind if I go and change it? She said, go and change it. So I expected what they'd given me was like, I just thought they'd spent £300 or something. Okay. And, and so I go into Hermes, which is, can I just say, the hardest shop in London to go into because everything is in a secret room and everyone is busy and they show you things and then they say, oh, it's only on display. It's not for sale. So, you know, you have that whole scenario with Hermes. But I met a nice man called James, if any of you ever. Okay, James, if you're watching, yeah, well James, all right. And he was actually quite helpful. And I, so finally somebody came back and they said, it's, it's um, £2,300. And I was like, so I said, well, what can I get in the shop for that? So they started they showing me. They said, not a lot. Not I'm a lot. I mean, literally, they showed me this tiny bag. And I went, are you kidding? So anyway, then they said, then I went to Selfridges and I saw this in electric. No, I saw it on a woman in electric blue. And I'd always loved this bag. It's and called, as a, a name to it. I love a crossbody. And so I said, well, how much is that? And it was going to be 94 pounds more. So I said, well, I'll, I'll have that. Take that. So then I sent a video in the shop to the person who gave me the thing saying, I've chosen it. I'm so excited. And she sent me an email back saying, it's my favorite bag in the world. I'm so happy. Oh, oh, nice. And That's then on Saturday, awesome. I wore it and I sent her a picture of me wearing it. It's first outing, oh. <laughs> you know, because it's so it really matters. It's very nice. I but like it a lot. Yeah. So, so this goes back to Christmas. I yes. know it was a really long route. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> right. story. But We're I think it's that. about, you know, 
It's very difficult to know what to give people, and it's very difficult to know what to do if somebody's given you something and they want you to love it. And it's worse that you accept it and don't wear it than if you say the truth. And what, at what stage do you do that? Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. And it, it's like it happens a lot with our partners because the, the most torturous, painful thing for a man or a, a woman in a relationship who's more masculine to give is the wrong present. Mm. And it, it torments men. They kind of want you to say, can you just tell me what you want? Because I don't want to guess. And we're saying, we want you to guess because it's a sign of your love for us <laughs> if you guess right. You know, and so we just but kind don't of... guess wrong. Yeah. It's like we don't... <laughs> give them an out well we give them a link if we're clever yeah. I mean, give them a frankly, link but then you've taken away the surprise and no I'm alright with that yeah, you I'm quite happy right. with that I hate you people are. wasting money on me but then oh, there is so the right, element yeah. of like if you just if there's something like a surprise to open up on Christmas Day, it's so nice. Yes, I think is. also yeah. my I like if it's a, a good surprise. Yeah, yeah. To, my oh, family are quite good at buying mm -hmm. buying presents. So yeah. your family, we never yeah. do. Yeah. We never you do a list. Yeah. Otherwise, as we said yesterday, just go for a brand. Go for Aesop. Go for Diptyque. Yeah, go, yeah. For, yeah. go for Trini Saint London. Brand. Go for Trini London. I can London. tell you how you buy brilliant really <laughs> gifts on that. Obviously, but go or go food. I think go something yummy to eat or drink. Can I just say who's done really good things? I'm going to give you my top three buys because that's where we started. So the first one is this very bag, 29 pounds. It's kind of crackled gold leather. It sounds weird with a Pierre Hardy kind of We that, will put a thing. link. We'll put a yeah. link the in the Because it's an amazing bag. Which camera am I looking to? This Wherever. One. It's an amazing bag. The second thing, which I bought eight of so far, right. is in Fennec, Brent Cross. I haven't found anyone else. It's called Be Something. And it's this faux fur gilet in black. And it feels like mink. And it's too... The, it's sleeveless and it's to the knee. Ooh. And it's in tranches like that. Oh, yeah, like I love that. Yeah, yeah. 90 quid. But, I mean, something that you would get at shrimp even though shrimp would have put some more fun colour in it for 600. So yeah, nice. Amazing. Number three. Okay. I love that. Number three, I have to say, it's a Trini London stack because what we've yeah. done is we've given you the chance that you can go and look at what your friend looks like and choose a stack according to what they look like and there's 70 women to choose from. Oh, that's cool. That's really that's kind of great. So you go on the Trini tribe and you say, I know what my friend's like, I want to get her a stack and you go on and that's you just clever. choose. You're so clever. I with can I show you? Because it. it really is. Yeah, I tell you, I know I don't want to be blagging my own trumpet but no, no, I yeah, it's all right. Really, you know, yeah. We are big, we <laughs> are you. genuine fans, obviously, hence you're here. Thank you. So, blow your own trumpet, quite. But, but I'll tell you what it is, because today we've got a shoot as well, and we have this thing where we want to photograph as many women as possible in our product, so we have no models on the site. So we don't have a model on the site. You I had my cousin. Who's your cousin? Zara. We had your cousin, Zara. I know, it's like, there's oh, my cousin. Yeah, How on cousin. earth does that oh, even happen? Yes. That's conversation for another moment. Yes. But, you know, they no, are... But we get them from... We get them from friends. We get them from Facebook. We get them from Trini Tribe, everybody. But they are all women who do another job. And now we have from age 16... No, 17 now, Anna. She's just about to be 17. To... 83 year old Jill. Wow. Wow. That's kind of great. And I want them all to come up so now and they're not coming up because it works. Well, when it comes fine, up, but when it comes show up, us. Yeah, I will show you. Okay, so we don't let our other halves freestyle. You would, you yeah, wouldn't. I, I just, nope. yeah. I wouldn't. I, yeah. Um, let's talk about what you wear on Christmas Day. We're all dying to know. I mean, since you're in sequence, are you in sequence? I'll tell you what. Or is Christmas it the one day you're not in <laughs> well, sequence? Well, I'll tell you, it's different things because I have two. Things. Like, I haven't done something. Can I just Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's see. Try, they're <coughs> so, so they're done alphabetically. I'm going to hold it because okay. I've got the, ca I've got the other camera. Can, just, yeah, can you we can see go that? Down. I'm looking over. And yes, I'm getting a thumbs up. And you just find somebody like you and you're going to go past it alphabetical. You can sort them by skin tone or hair colour. But there's Jill. Really there's all these good, different women. Trini. And I then when that. you go in, so if I go into, let's and say, and then I go you choose, into, a, you choose in how many in your stack? So you can choose anything. You can do a get the look. So when we, when we, if it downloaded in the, it does normally. You it's, see that? This so then I see all her looks and I can get her essentials or a bright lip stack or a different stack. And you just think, oh, I love that look. And you just get the whole look. Love it. So it's, clever. But it's so just, clever. I just think it's, sometimes when we want to do personalized things, it's tricky. So Christmas Eve <laughs> and Christmas Day are my two main events. I have not gone out for a Christmas party once this year. Well, what's gone wrong? Because you can come to mind having drinks. I know. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I've, I've, I've not gone to sick. It's not like I've NFI. Right. I mean, I feel it's not, NFI okay, now. I'm really sorry for you. Yeah, no. But I, there was a bit of NFI there. But also, people are used to the fact that I won't turn up because yeah. I never go to um, PR events, industry stuff. I, know, I never go to any either. industry things. And then I, my time is very precious. Yes. So if I work in the office. If I get up at 7 and I leave at 7.38, if I'm not with my partner, he, he sees me for three hours. And also, then I might lie down and I'm asleep in two hours. So he gets two hours a day. 
And then Lila's at school, and when she's not at school, she gets the time. So it's like, I don't have time for anything. You've got to prioritize. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then I also have the energy for work during the day. And at the moment, I've got a young business, and I have to do that. And that's my priority. But I Christmas Eve... I don't know how you do it all, but anyway... Christmas Eve, we have 34 people for lunch. And wow. so then I usually do dress up a bit. So last year, I wore this floor-length Alice Templey skirt in purple and gold oh, with a kind day. of gold top. <laughs> And then this year, I'll tell you what I'm going to wear because I do go a bit mad for this. And do I, you? I love care. that. Yeah. I'm going to take some inspiration long, from you. Yeah. And go so mad I, I, I wear that. long dresses for the lunch. It's that kind of thing. Anyone wears anything, but I, it's just in my house. But I'll wear, it with, I'll wear it with bare feet. So love it me. makes me feel so like nice. juxtapositional mm-hmm. trainers. So but do your friends turn up in jeans? No, they don't. They, they all they turn up nicely. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, they they're like panic. So I will probably wear, I bought. There was a Peter Pilotti dress this season, which was in this kind of gold. And there was a sleeveless version and a long sleeve version. And it was a deep V. And it's kind of a weird dress, but it's a phenomenal dress with tears. It sounds really odd, but it's no, it divine. Fabulous. So I saw it first in Selfridges and I fell in love. And then I thought, I can't afford it. And it had long sleeves. And then I went home and I did that thing of going on Farfetch and my Teresa, can I get it cheaper anywhere? And I found a sleeveless version from the sum of a four for half the price. So I bought it. Thought, great. And then I was twiddling for a few days. And Thanks, I... Sorry, Zara. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then I thought, I wish I got that long. Uh, uh, I got both. <gasps> I got both. Well, you loved it that much. You went away and thought about it. It's not a rash decision. And that's, you know, you're never going to get that Okay, I'm never going to get... The thing is, I haven't worn them yet, them, mm. them. I haven't worn them yet, but on, I'll wear one back to front. I'll wear one back to front with my white trainers for Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, I'll probably I'm going to my sister's and I'll wear a sequin top and some wide layer of black velvet trousers from Mango. Something Lovely. like that. Nice. And okay. then I'm going to get on a plane anyway at six o'clock near to India. So I need to be able to go from my sister's house to the airport and I want to take hand luggage. And wow. so I've got to have... <laughs> wow, logistics. That's, that's, that's a technical logistical yeah. nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, that's stressing me out for you. I've seen your wardrobe and I've seen how many caftans you've got. So good luck with your hand luggage. Yeah, can I just say, I, I, I mean, hand luggage is the most exciting proposition if you can get ahead around it. So I went to India. Um, no, I wouldn't go to I went to a party in Utah in October. It was my one sort of glamorous thing. And there were I outfits every yeah, night. So and you know, I had to be, take it yeah, I mean, there was, a, there was a lot going on, yes. Yeah. So I put everything in hand luggage for that trip, which was a five-day trip, Vegas, Utah, Amangiri, you know, there were four nights of full-on and events, you took hand there was hiking thing. stuff, there was horse riding, you know, I have my Alice Templey floor <laughs> length gown for horse. horse riding, but that all went in, there's two bits of hand lug- of luggage you need to know about, Away and Horizon, which I'm sure you know. Yes, yeah, Okay, basically. so we love both those, so I've given the Away ones with the charger, the white ones to, yeah. my, nice. to my, not stepdaughter, but my, my partner's daughter. Have you? And her partner. They're amazing. They, yeah, they are that's the, a great What one. that brand, actually we're hoping to interview the Phenomenal. founder quite soon, yeah. what they've achieved in that amount of time yeah. is just, it's, it is But what phenomenal. would you say is the difference between Horizon and Away? Because they're both direct consumer um, luggage brands and they're like Remova when you don't want to spend 600 pounds. Mm. Yeah. And they're usually, well, they're still expensive. They're still to, two to 350. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know. I'd struggle to choose yeah. other than I can get a discount from one of the stores. Can one you really? Oh my that shops. God. <laughs> um, I'm jealous. Horizon. Yeah. So but, anyway, but, great right. brands, okay. great Christmas presents. Great. Are you dressing up on Christmas Day? Are you inspired now yes. by Trini to dress up on Christmas Day? I quite like Trini, just not crazy, not heels, not yeah. all the glitz yeah. and glamour. Velvet but like a little bit of velvet. Are you or really throwing velvet trousers? I know, they're almost identical. Mine are mango, yours are. Mine are. Yeah, those H&M, are those yeah. mango wide leg yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're fantastic. like a burgundy. Yes, and colors you know what's up. important about Christmas is. You can eat. I want to have the trousers elasticated away. So either the dress is elasticated or the trouser bottoms, because also it's lunch late, it's way too much food, and then it's games. Yeah. And it's like... In my house, not in everyone's house. Oh. My in-laws aren't the game type. Oh. Mine are. They're yeah. coming together. It's going to be interesting. Oh, that's oh, going to be right. great, Georgie. Yeah. Oh, we didn't say to you, what are you doing Christmas, Georgie? Uh, bringing bringing, to, bringing my in-laws wear? and my family together. I, I normally am like... Heels, a trouser, and a nice top. But yeah. I'm going to go for it this year. You're gonna, you've inspired me. Yeah. I think, why not? Long skirt and a, and a fun, skinny, sexy yeah. top is quite nice, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do quite like that. Okay, finally, what is the perfect Christmas? What does it look like for you? It's really difficult because now I have a daughter. The perfect Christmas is like I did the tree with her last night and I finally felt Christmassy. Well, if you say now I have a daughter, I mean she's a teenager. No, but I mean, <laughs> before I had a daughter, I didn't like Christmas. Yeah, because I didn't, I was always somebody who felt 
sadder at Christmas. And when I grew up, you know, the, there were certain torturous things that happened at Christmas. So the most superficial torturous thing is I had a cat called Mushy. Okay, this is a cat that really ruined my story, Christmas. So this is such a sad story. Oh, so it was a year that finally, for the first time, my mother actually, I thought, God, what I want on my Christmas list, because my mother was the worst present giver in the world. She's still alive, but she doesn't remember so much nowadays. And she just didn't, you know, it was always that, I hope she's, oh, it's a book. Uh, it was that. Okay, so that's probably why I, I buy myself so much stuff is to make it up for that. But anyway, this one Christmas God. when I thought, I know, because I sneaked in the wardrobe, she's actually got me two things I wanted. The cat decided to have a diarrhea vomit sick thing <laughs> all over the presents of the Christmas tree on Christmas Eve. So we wake up on Christmas morning and literally every oh, present yeah. is ruined by cat diarrhea. And that, oh. that, was, that was like... I nearly had it in the bag and it went. Sad. I thought it was so, going to be a sadder end. No, no, like, no, but like, it's a sad oh, end for your presence. Yeah, and then, the and then my That's grandmother really... died soon after one. Anyway, just certain things happened. I had it wasn't a really a happy bad. Time. It wasn't a happy time. So then I had many years where I would do everything to get away from Christmas. And then Lila was born and it was adorable. She's 15. She still like wants to pretend she has believes in Santa, so she thinks she'll get more presents. That's right. He's stopping it. Um, but I used to do little things. If you've got young kids, can I just tell you a few tell little me. tricks? Because yes. there aren't going to be any kids watching this, but these are a few tricks I did with Lila that were really effective. Okay, so on is. that year where the, the, the movie The Santa Claus was not being enough for her, and she was hearing from friends at school, Santa doesn't exist, which is about sort of seven. I she, know, okay. we're just getting it. I know, Mommy, why I, do they have barcodes on? Oh, well, can I tell you, you know. something? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. okay. So this is, this is my trick. And I've done this in many locations around the world because I've had Christmas in different places. So Lila was starting to say, I don't know if I believe in Father Christmas. So her older cousin was telling her that. And so then what I decided to do is I got, we was in Spain and we were by the sort of entrance to a rose garden through the window. And I didn't say anything, but I knew there was somebody who's going to make noises of a bell and a sleigh and stuff outside. So I'm there and I can begin to hear them. I don't make any. And then I see Lila and Jack go, and go up to the window. And then they see something red go by the window and they go, Mommy, who was that? Who was that? And I go, what, Lila? Really? No. You said he doesn't exist. No. And she goes, I know. And I said, well, the only way we'll know is if we go there and we see some evidence that can help us. So then we go into the rose garden and on a bush, we find two bits of wrapping paper, like somebody's, the sack has been pulled. So I said, Magical. okay, take that wrapping paper, put it in your breast pocket. And if it matches tomorrow, then maybe you're right. You know, maybe he exists. So they put it religiously, even Jack, who was nine, put it in his thing. And I, of course, had been then wrapping in the middle of the night. Harry, my brother-in-law, had been the Santa. You know, we had, I, um, I had torn a tiny bit of that bit from the present and I had put it on the tree. Um, so then the next morning, they literally got up at six. They took it out. They went there and it fitted. Oh, my God. They were like, oh, my God. I got another two years out of that. I love oh, that. It's so amazing. I know, Laura. But those are things to do. Are amazing. They yeah. yeah. the stockings in. I, yeah. I always remember the story. Yeah, too. like chase this different coloured string to find oh, it. We had so oh. many games. And, and I think that's just magical for mm. It's all about children. Really. Yeah, it is. It's about children. Family. Well, it's about such a mummy. It's about such a mummy. Such such a mummy. mummy. Know, but but is, do you have kids yet? No. Do you? Yes. Yeah. How old are yours? Four, two and one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it is the this is magical. Yeah. 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 This yeah. Willow yeah. really yeah. Like for the yeah. Yeah. one and two year old, literally a cardboard box is enough. It's more exciting than any other person. <laughs> I mean, they'll get she get in the box and just. Live right, we're gonna have something. One, yes. thing, one, I've got to ask you. Yeah. Just because we found these in the office. Yeah. Have you ever been on I'm a Celebrity? Astrid, you are the guilty I'm a Celebrity watcher. And we're like, surely Trini's been invited on I'm a Celebrity. I was invited a for about. Invited? As how many years has it, has it gone? Uh, it's been, it's been uh, about 14 years, 10 years. Oh, I think I've been, it's one of the longest, like, I think I've been yeah. invited for nine years in a row. Wow. And why have you not done it? Um, because did Susanna, do it? Susanna did it. She did it yeah. And she was out first. And oh. I think oh. Susanna's problem was, because she was adorable in it, she but she had Lady Colin anus. Campbell. No, she did everything. She, she had Lady Colin Campbell in, and Susanna, oh, yes. in I a second, that one. could have taken her down. Because Susanna spent every other weekend for about seven years with mm. the royal family. You know, she went out with, with Princess Margaret's son. So she kind of knew all the stuff, but she decided, because she's a nicely brought up girl, never to say anything. Yeah, she's and not she was enough being the mother image, and she was going behind the loo. There's a place behind the loo where the cameras can't get to you, and everyone would have their mother time with Susanna. So she was on the mother camera. They she all loved her. The but she wasn't playing to the cameras. Mm. And she didn't, therefore she went out because you vote for who you want to stay in, not yeah. for who you yeah. want to go yeah. Yeah. So okay. that's why. And then every year they offered more and more and more and more and more. And then 
the year Suzanne did it, they offered a tremendous amount. And so of she, money? And she said yes. And you've never been tempted? No. And I did, at one stage... Strictly? I mean, come you know, on, Trini, can you do Strictly? No. no I couldn't do any of them. Right? I couldn't do any of them. Trini, for Strictly, I'm going to campaign. I, I just, I don't know. I, uh, what? Anyway, yeah. Holly has yes. done an amazing job. Holly's a Trini London... Fan, I know she? Holly's always in Magician yeah. Eye or Maddie right? Lip. It's amazing. You can't have a better wrestler I know. than Holly. She's wearing Swainy Lip most of the days. All and my she's nailed it. Astrid, you're the, you're the I'm a celebrity fan. I love how I'm like coined as this celebrity fan. I've literally watched about four episodes. But, but you know what? She's, <laughs> well, I watched none, so you're she's ahead of game. doubled the viewing. Has think? she really? I think she has. I think she has the really highest nice. viewing figures in yeah, years. She nailed and it. considering everything else has gone down of those kind mm. of shows. Because also we want to we always want to check in and see what Holly's wearing. I was wearing. wearing. Yeah. I was no, gonna say exactly the opportunity that. to not yeah. have to wear high street. I'm gonna get into yes. it because she wasn't doing this morning. This morning yeah, and yeah. I think on this morning it's really important that she like on this morning I wear high street and yeah. I don't wear mm. to, what are you gonna get in trouble of? Because we're talking too long and we need to talk about makeup and okay. skincare. Right, fine. But okay. I can I just say one thing. I suggested fuck I've just seen excuse my language I've just seen what is in here. They're real bugs. Smoky barbecue. Astrid century. I'm actually going to pass because I have quite a sore throat. But that's my I've just seen what is in I don't like it. So you can buy them in Sainsbury's now. Would you do it? Oh, they're barbecue. Go on, Trini. Why not? Are they? They're barbecue. I'm obviously not going to see legs. I just saw a wood louse. Did you see legs? I've seen a wing. How are they? Fine. On. Okay, let's Trini's move on to beauty. Oh, no? I'm not sure I can do okay, it. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Okay, I think we'll leave it there. I'll mull it but over. But I did smell Ooh, a bit smoky. smoky. They smell Ooh. good. They just don't look so great. Um, after the break, <laughs> Trini and <laughs> I will be <laughs> back <laughs> taking a look at uh, her favourite skincare buys and obviously her wonderful makeup range, Trini London. And I need some fucking water now, please. <laughs> okay, I sorry. Need some beep. Water. <laughs> okay, I do need some water. Where are we going now? We are on our way to the new Anita Big store in London. Very exciting. We're going to pick six hero pieces. Yeah. And then we're going to build a look around each piece. Exactly. Okay. Today I'm going to talk you through my wardrobe essentials. Since I'm a working mom and always on the go, I'm dropping off the kids, running into a board meeting, a little bit of rock and roll t-shirt and a blazer. What look are you going for first? I am going to go for the leather yeah, jacket, so bar silk skirt and blazer. So I'm here to catch up with Rowan, see the new lights that they've got in and discuss what we can do going forward. We are big fans of the show. What do you look for in good lighting? I like a nice shade. This is new. Did you design that here? In our factory. Yeah. Um, it's 335 quid. Well, and that's why you need to come to Pookie. I mean, if you told me that was 3,000, I wouldn't bat an eye there. Yeah. Can you come and help me make a decision? So I've got two options. One's tacky and one's okay. less tacky. So Charlotte, option one, I've okay. got a... A very smart Zara Man navy suit. Bought under my supervision a year ago. Or... And this one. This is what happens when I don't supervise your shopping choices. <laughs> that is fabulous. What are we going for? Option one or option two? We are absolutely going with option two. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yay! Yay! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! She may have won the nation's heart, sharing her fashion knowledge, but Trini is also a dab hand when it comes to dishing out beauty advice from her hypnotic product reviews on Instagram to her very own line of makeup. She's become an authority in both the style and the cosmetics world. And she's also doing these brilliant Trini taxi cab interviews, which I know lots of people will have seen on our behind the scenes. Yours they keep asking out. me when Yours it's coming, coming out. out. Yep. Um, it was such fun and you grilled me on my favorite skincare buys. So I thought we'd turn the table. Oh, I wondered why this was happening. Yeah, and I didn't know this was ask regular. you for yours, because everyone's okay. far more interested in yours than they are Very mine. Very difficult compiling it. And some of the things I had run out of, so I've kind of, it's like my top 10 in a rush, but it's still in here. There's actually about 12, but I'm going to pick up okay. in an order I love. So, so let's okay. go. What are we got? What am I going to start with? I'm going to start with... I'm going to put this over here and you can pass them to me. Let me just done. start in the order. So I always exfoliate. I always double cleanse, but I usually exfoliate in the morning. And then in the evening, I will do a gel cleanser like Herbivorous, which I love. Herb I always pronounce everything very badly, Herborist. But this is a gel balm. So... This and Dr. Sam's Flawless Cleanser are two very good gel balms. It's like a gel and a balm have had a baby and produced that. So it's like a glycolic Ooh, cleanser a had a balm. baby with uh, Sarah Chapman. And you use this when? I use that in the evening. I will use that to take off my makeup. And then I will do a glycolic cleanser like Julia Hunter, which is my favorite okay. range. And is this expensive? 
I don't know. I think okay. it's 36 pounds. Okay. Whereas D Dr. Sam's one, which is very similar, is 16 pounds. Okay, Dr. Okay, Sam's. Yeah. Dr. Sam okay. Bunting, who's a very good dermatologist. Oh, right, right, yes, And amazing. she has two products. She has that and, and moisturizer. And has 16 pounds, that's Has 16 pounds, I think it's a phenomenal yeah. price. This um, is nice, doesn't smell. No, it doesn't smell. I like smell. it, okay. Um, if you want to have an exfoliator, the Sanctuary, which is like a brand that mm, to me brand, is, you yeah. know, sometimes some of the best things are old products. They're not new. We have so much new flooding in the market. Mm. And I just think there's sometimes some really old friends that are great. But this I discovered this year because I always do Dr. Lancer. And I wanted to do for Dr. Lancer something with the same size granulation that was going to give me the exfoliation. And I like this a lot. And it doesn't dry your skin out. And this is cheap. This is cheap. This is like sort of seven, eight pounds. And it's not too abrasive. Because no, it's supposed you to know use full-on full exfoliation. It depends anyway. how much, because I do physical and granular exfoliation. It's quite gentle. Yeah, it's not bad. Sometimes you just really need to bust off the dry you skin, do. don't and you? And I think that you can do acetonas, but there's a different feeling from an acetona. Mm. And I think the most important thing for any skincare routine, re routine, okay. routine is that that double cleanse... It's got to get to a place where there's nothing left on your face because when you do the acetona, that's the first stage of your replenishment program. It's not the last stage of your cleansing. And a lot of women think, oh, if I get off the last bit of my makeup with my toner, that's their regime. That's kind of then wrong because if you use that to get the rest of your makeup off with, you're not using the acetone is not going in to do its proper job, which is okay. to clean off and slot off the dead skin cells and allow other products to penetrate. Is blocking it? You're mm. saying getting in yeah. there? Okay. So that's I'm going to do it in an order here. Yeah. Occasionally, I do love Renaissance mask, which is uh, also an exfoliating mask, but it's very. It goes on beautifully. It's smooth. It's by Oskia. Oh, it I smells love delicious. Oskia. It's a yeah. wonderful And it's brand. kind of that nurturing, um, resurfacing You can mask. tell she likes it. Yeah, it's really, it's really that's, good. That's good. Oskia yeah, is going to love that. Yeah. Go amazing. It's really good. Uh, oh, so I love that. it smells really rosy as well. And then the first thing I... So another... So acetonas, I use P50 and I use generally the W or the V. So there's four strands of the Biologic Recharge P50. And there's one which is really, really sensitive. And there's one which has got fennel in it, which is even stronger, which you can only get in the States. So I like the W or okay. the V. I, I use and either. And the brand is what? Biologique Recharge. Okay. Or, but it's actually Biologique Recharge. And it's a very old England? French brand. Yes, you can buy it in England and you can get it at Liberty and you can get it in Ken Church Street. There's a shop. You can get it online. It's got another product in it, which I have to talk about because it's phenomenal, but I've just run out. And it's called Colostrum. Um, serum and it smells like Colostrum's a farmyard. comes out of your boobs yeah. and your breastfeed. Well, it felt, smells like a farmyard because it's colostrum from definitely some animals. So if you're vegetarian, do not go near it. But it's an incredible serum. <sighs> smells pungent, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's pungent. It means Alpha, it, I was that means it AHA, works. if you've got spots, time of the month, to me, this is one of the best um, glycolic acid toners. I love it. And it's a reasonable mid-price. And if you're looking for inexpensive, I would say azelic acid which is from Garden of Wisdom, and it's about seven pounds. It's better than the okay. ordinary, and it's really a Garden great... Garden of Wisdom. Azilic acid. Never heard of that. Okay, all right. Um, and this, would you use this every day? I would. I use them every day. It depends. If your skin is oily and you've got open pores and you're susceptible to breakouts, definitely use an exfoliating toner every day. If you have a dry skin, maybe every other day. Has this come in yet? Yes. No, it hasn't come in yet. So but my routine... Wee, where, where do, we don't use that for any of the products we've done. No, we're going to use I'm it with the gun. this product. Okay. So... Twice a week, I do microneedling, mm. and I do it at home. And if you haven't done microneedling yet, there's important things to remember when you make your choices. So one of them is the depth of the needle, how much it will penetrate. So you can have 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5. When you get to a dermatologist, they'll do one or two, which are really breaking right, right, the right. skin. So 0 0.2 is quite which is gentle. Yes. But it's also the number of needles on the barrel that's relevant. So if you have fewer needles on the barrel, it's going to turn and penetrate a bit more. Do you imagine if you were yeah. stepping on the kind of, you're, you're a you're meditation guru in India and you, and you walk on the, the nail bed. If there's fewer nails, you might yes, break yes. the skin. So quite a few companies do them with about eight, six, eight hundred. And that means it's light touch. So even if it's 0 0.3. So more needles um, is a lighter touch. It's a lighter to touch. So sense. Nanette de Gasp does 450 needles and it's 0 0.5. And for me, this is a phenomenal needle. So when I do this needle, 
and what's really important if you start to needle. And what needling will do is it will make any product that you choose to use work 300% more. Mm, so that's why, because it can sink in. So the key things are you always do a feathering technique. So always go like that. Don't do lines on your skin, just feather and feather and just keep doing that feathery forth, motion like that. And where you might have scarring or you might have open pores, do it a bit more. Don't be, don't for you can't do it around the nose. Okay. And remember the neck. And, and do you do this morning, night, both? I do this at night twice a week. So okay. I'll do it on a Sunday night and I'll do it on a Wednesday night or something. And are you ready the next day? No, I'm not. But my skin is very to tough. So you start gently and then never forget, and this is really important for women's, women in their 30s, is to remember to do a little bit here. And I know I say that with trepidation, but the amount of women whose makeup I do who are 50, and they might have fantastic skin, and this skin is dry and crepey because they never put anything on it. And the amount of times when we do a makeup routine yeah. and we do this, and we don't do that, we just don't think about it. So just there. Under so the, I under will the do a little micro needling gently there. Also very good to stimulate hair growth, by the way, microneedling, because if you do massotherapy or you do PRP, which is an intense form of microneedling, the uh, uh, vampire facial, they will sometimes do it where people might get hair loss here. Really? So needling stimulates, just think about the stimulation. It's sending down a bit of a shock wave to your collagen. So if you're in your late 30s and you've stopped developing so much collagen, it's going to give a bit of a shock wave down there and help it produce. But okay. it's just an important. So when I do this, I do this peel first. This peel is probably the strongest peel you can buy. And you have to get it through Julia Hunter. And you can go online. She, has a, she had a really bad site that was so difficult to navigate. She's somebody who doesn't care about promoting her own products because she's just... Is her own They're that good. No, but she. They, I mean, like the packaging is them. shit. It's not airtight. But I quite you know. like that because it's like the, the yeah. performance speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. So this peel is a very strong peel. It has in it, what I love, is it has mandelic malic which are two really great acids so it has very good acids in it it doesn't have glycolic in it you know and so it just the acid balance is great so i put a light layer of this on i do my needling and i put another layer on that's a tough old thing okay, okay. that's good all right is so that's expensive that. that is incredibly expensive it's 230 dollars <gasps> yeah but it's like to me one of the best things in the entire world okay well, then that's, that's, you know, you i'll put on a mask of nanettes so this one because i've I run out so i've just put it in an old thing so Charlotte Tilby has her face sheet mask, yep. which you've all seen. She actually got it made with Nanette's manufacturers, and they formulated it for her. And they're based in um, Canada. But she did her own mask, and she has three different types of masks. She has her normal one. She has a little less expensive one called Mr. Gaspé, which is fantastic. But this is her Vitality Revealed. So I put this on, and I do this on the bike. I do masks. it everywhere, yeah. And I will have micro-needled before. And then I'll put this on and then I'll do a bit of activation. I mean, I can even keep it on for the next few minutes as we talk about things. Because oh, I do, do need a mask. I mean, why not? It's I really Christmas. do. Um, and I've done this occasionally also over makeup. Except I've got to talk to you seriously now. But seriously. But I've done this on. over makeup, Georgie. All right. So halfway during the day, you know, you're tired and you're going out for a great party evening. And you think, can I be fucked to do a whole skincare routine in the office? No way. Whack on one of these. Whack on See, one you know, of everyone's these. Everyone's laughing. They're all over trying to keep the makeup. a straight face. All right. Ten minutes. We've got ten minutes. That lovely lady with the gorgeous open hair is saying behind the camera. <laughs> so, OK. I'm going to go okay, on so to three more things. You, you want to do a good retinol. Yeah. I think the best retinol, because there's so many retinols out there, I would dump every single high street retinol you can imagine, because they don't have the right combinations. And I would probably do Retroderm, which is kind of a more professional one. Okay. I just do it. I just go for it. That's it depends how much you peel, but I think it's phenomenal. Okay. What um, else have you got? Vitamin C. So vitamin C is an integral part of my skincare routine. It has been for 30 years. Yeah. No, 25 years I've done vitamin C. I'm that old. So C Ferulic has 25% vitamin C that. in it, which I really love. Um, and do you put that in the morning, yeah? I put that first thing on. And onto dry skin. Onto dry skin. And if you want to do it for this, because this is really expensive, yeah, is. one that I'm finding... Like, so nearly as good that I might dump this is Garden of Wisdom, 23% vitamin C with ferulic. And it's, it's and Garden of Wisdom? It's 16 pounds. Wow, okay. Which is at Victoria Health. We need, we need to check I've got to say, I'm going to do next week half my face just with this and half with Garden of Wisdom because I really want to see, is it as good as I think it is? Because there's a 98 pound difference. Amazing. Um, okay. So I love that. I'd say if it's half as good, I'd be, I'd be going for it. You would be going for it. Okay. Uh, and then Foreo. I do Foreo as another tool. I love tools. So I do Foreo whenever I do my cleanser. And do you think that really, you see a difference from that? 
Yeah, yes, I'll tell you why, away. because anyone who has a Clarisonic and is still getting spots, the reason you might still be getting spots is Clarisonics, to me, hold bacteria rather badly because that bristle just, it's a festering place for bacteria. Because the Foreo is done with pure silicone with no place, you know, where things can get kind of caught up, is just much more hygienic. Yeah. And what I do is I'll, I'll clean this under hot water every night. Yeah, the hygiene factor week, is good, isn't I it? I will clean it with witch hazel, okay. just out of interest. Okay, we've also got Lixir vitamin C paste. Yep. What else have we got here? And we've got Nanette de Gaspé face cream. It's the best face cream in the entire world. It's like, forget creme de la mer, this is the best oh cream my God, it's pretty much in empty. the world. It really is incredible, but it is expensive, really okay. expensive, but it's beautiful. Okay, I'm now gonna go on to Trini London. Right, let's, so, let's get rid of these. Okay. Oh, you had another mask. Yeah, and I'll just uh, show you. I mean, I've done two minutes. Charles but I'm looks. just going to, and this is so short for this, because how many minutes are we now, darling? Because when you did that 10 minute, I had it on for two. Right, we've been two and a half minutes. Okay, we've been two and a half minutes. Too. So nothing It's not going to take your makeup off, so no. you just put no, it on over no, no. the top. But I'm just trying to accelerate it now. But anyway, it's probably not working. But there's a sort of, I don't know if you see any... You look very fresh face. ...glow at all, but you can just feel yeah. a tiny bit of that hydration. If I had that on for 15... Yeah. If you feel, you look very, genuinely... Yeah. You it's, look very fresh face. There is, to me, if you're getting married you or you've got a special occasion, this is, I think, £85 for three uses, but it's better than going to see a dodgy facialist. I would do these mm. and have these for those special occasions more than anything else. Sounds like so, easier. Okay, that means on. then, application for Trini London Makeup. About you just put away my, my BFF. Oh, Lord, what have I put away? My BFF in the tube. <gasps> Thank you. Okay, so. Gosh, best thing ever. Trini London makeup. Is this your best seller? Well, Trini London, I mean, everyone watching, no one could not. I sort have of known feel about that Trini now. London. I mean, it, everyone's been talking yeah. about it. The response has been what you've achieved in so little time. It's, it's been just it's been great. It's incredible. Been incredible. Yeah. And, you know, that's a result of your dedication and hard work, but also the product. And products yeah. don't sell if they're not that good. If they're not that good. And I think that when. I had the idea for Trini London, and the idea was born out of wanting to have portable, stackable makeup, but also with uh, formulas that were am amazing. So these formulas have all taken me a long time to develop, and I get them made in Italy. But I wanted things that were all cream-based, because that's my philosophy. I believe I want to see women's skin look incredible, so you start with the BFF, and that is something that would turn to the colour of your skin. So getting that and is this formula... And is this your bestseller? This, 60% of women who buy our products buy this. Really? I mean, we sell, I think, 3,000 oh, so 3, in this colour per month, so I, I don't know how many it's in all the colours. It's just so lovely. But it goes on, and I mean, I can put it on now. I'm just going to literally, I've done half my face, but it will turn to the colour of my skin. I put it on like a moisturiser halfway through the day because everything is cream-based. I'll put it on again, and it would just, it would just lift I up my makeup. I love the way you just put it over the top yeah, as well. Yeah, it will, because if you... If you can get to a stage in your life where you say, okay, powders, I'm, I'm keeping you at the front door because I feel they do, in a weird way, age my skin, whatever age I am, or they make me look tired and embrace cream, I think it's the best way. And I think if you have very oily skin, you might want to put a primer on first. But I just, whenever I look at a woman, I look at her complexion first. And I want to, you know, I love to see a woman who looks amazing and I don't get hit by her makeup immediately. Mm. I have that you know, the first comment I'm going to say to her is, God, you look so fantastic, yeah. Georgie. Not, hey, that eye makeup is really, you know? So that's kind of, but you can, so then. But yes, it is, it is, it is a wonder thing. product. Is, yeah. And it is the one that everyone talks about. Yes. It's, it's But phenomenal. everything should be easy. So I'm going to do my eyes now. Okay. So I'm just going to do a bit of mystery. And, and for anyone that's been, you know, in a ditch for the last couple of years yeah. it's stackable it's all creams it's all cream it's stackable and it's about creating your bespoke stack isn't it is it? so you have a bit of this right. yes perfect a nice mystery. you have a bit of that a bit of this and and you you come up with your own bespoke but it's just so clever that that's all you have to take with I you i know but what did, i think what's really important what's really important is many women over the years said um you know, and they might have used makeup for 20 years or just started using it. What really suits me? So if I do a strong lip, do I do a weak eye? All those questions. So we have this thing called Match to Me, and it took us about 3,000 women's information to then enable you to go and say, this is my skin, this is my hair, this is my eye color. And, and we say, this is what you suit. So of our 70 products, these are the 42 you can wear for that combination. What kind of look do you then want? Yeah. And I think that changes a woman so a lot of women who never bought makeup on the internet 
I'm tons of women who never bought makeup on the internet, you know, because I do lives every morning and chat to women. They say, I never bought makeup online until I bought yours. But that's changing. And that's changing. And I'd say you idea. and Charlotte Tilbury are the brands that are changing that. Yeah. And you think back to the days of as an say when everyone said that's Natalie Massonet and here you are, people are buying colour online yeah. because of video and all the clever things yeah. you can do now. Um, for but then we watching, went into store, we went into, we went well, into Fennec. you've done an amazing pop-up, No, but we went, we're in Fennec, and Fennec, Fennec permanently. Yes, of course you are. And in Fennec, we're the third beauty brand. Are you? Yeah, in the, on the God, floor. congratulations. Which is kind of like... And you've only been in there for a very short period of time. And one of the ones above us is Jo Malone. Wow. So wow, that's, that's kind amazing. Of, yeah. So that's fab, and that's also... Because there's always going to be a woman who wants touch and feel products. Mm. However much we are an online brand. For sure. And so meeting like I'm going to now after this to Brent Cross where we have a stand at Fennec. And I'm just going to meet some of the ladies and chat to them and say hi. And, and I just like seeing all the women and how they... And everyone can use things how they want it. Yeah. It's like I think one really important thing moving forward and looking at how things evolve is you either decide that you're going to say people buy into what you are or you're going to help women get to where they want to get to. So I kind of feel we want to help women get to where they want to get to. You still say all the same things you said back in the one or two days, don't you? I do. Um, for yes. people watching that go, OK, I need to give this a go that haven't, do get the BFF. Um, you tell us what to start with. And also just tell us about your new blurring okay. wonder product. So, so A, what do you start with? Okay, so I would time, say what, where do you go start with BFF, which comes in a little teapot, and then you'll have your teapot like that, which has it. And then get, if you, for me, if you bought three things, I would buy BFF with your teapot. I'd buy a lip to cheek, mm -hmm. and then I'll buy a lip glow and an eye. So that's four things. And then that could be your makeup. That's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. You need. Yeah, and then you just add on. People then become addicted, and then they, their so stat becomes a tower. So you, so but just that idea four. that you're that's yeah, and then that's four in your you. bag anywhere. That's it's like the freedom I feel that anywhere I am, that's all I need to be able to change how I look. That's yeah. kind of empowering. And you've just launched new colours. Yes, we just launched new colours. Tell us about those. We've launched Rocket Man, and one of them is the one I just put and on. And I, I actually tried them in the back of your taxi. I loved them. And then Genuinely Miracle Blur, them. which I want to show you, but I'm not going to be able to because Mir Miracle Blur is this thing that if you have lines, um, it will take the lines principle. away. And I would show it here, but we had it, Georgie, for four days, and we had. Sold out. 5,000 units and they sold in four days. And then we got another 500 units which sold in two hours on Monday. So for us as a new brand, that was like, okay, how do we deal with that? So, so how can we accelerate getting the next one? But the formula is one that it will fill in lines. And even a lovely um, beauty journalist from Marie Claire, she had a scar on her forehead that really had been frustrating her. And I filled in the scar for her. For people watching, it's, it's sort of a bit waxy, yeah. isn't it? It's sort of, it's sort of not it's, greasy it's, and yeah. matte. And it's a very weird formula, but it's, it feels cushiony when you press it. I really feel bad I haven't got it here, but I, I feel frustrated mm. for we'll, you. We'll link it yeah. below. Yeah. When will it be back in stock? Back in stock, 20th of January, I hope. God, but that's incredible. That's yeah. incredible. It's all incredible. Check it out. Um, Trini, we love everything you stand for. Everything you do, thank you thank you so for much me on. for coming on the show. What fun. Um, everything featured will be linked below. And yeah, do make sure you check out Trini's makeup line at trinilondon.com. Sorry, range, I should have said. Um, it's been such a pleasure. We'll be back next week with lots of Christmas tips, more chat and recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Please do rate, review, subscribe and tell your friends. Bye bye.